All right, let's do a quick review of when you should consider doing an awake fiber optic intubation for your patient. A quick and easy way to ensure that AFOI is right for you and your patient is to ask yourself these three important questions prior to formulating your intubation plan. Question number one, is it a known or predicted anatomically difficult airway? Factors that might make this criteria for AFOI include things like restricted mouth opening, cervical spine instability, or limited cervical extension, head and neck pathology like certain cancers, radiation to the neck, progressive airway edema, morbid obesity, and facial trauma. If your patient meets any of these criteria, then they might be a good candidate for AFOI. But hold on, in an emergency airway situation, we need to consider a few other factors before we go ahead and proceed. So ask yourself question two. Do you have the time and the conditions that are favorable for awake fiber optic intubation? Here are some examples of conditions that might make it favorable for you to perform AFOI. Is it a non-crash or non-emergent airway that gives you a little bit more time? Will it delay other required emergent interventions? AFOI takes longer than RSI, and if delays are going to cause significant morbidity or mortality for your patient, then this is not a favorable time to do AFOI. Is the patient at low risk for vomiting? Do they have no other airway contamination like blood or secretions that will obscure your view? Do you have a cooperative patient? Are the AFOI tools you need readily available? And finally, are nasal or tracheal intubation a feasible option for you in this moment? If not, then maybe you should consider moving directly to Fona. Finally, question number three. Are you skilled at AFOI in a difficult airway situation? Because you yourself need to be comfortable with AFOI in what will likely be a difficult airway scenario. If you're not, then you should not include it in your airway plan. So, Let's review one more time. If you have an anatomically difficult airway that is likely, and the timing and conditions are favorable for AFOI, and you have the tools and the skills required to perform it, then you can go ahead and proceed to awake fiber optic intubation on your patient. If not, you should do instead what you're most comfortable with, or you should call for help. Because a difficult airway is not the time to do something new or unfamiliar. All right, that is a simple way to determine if your patient might be a candidate for awake fiber optic intubation in an emergency setting. If you like this, go ahead and learn more in our masterclass online at theprotectedairway.com with the link here. And don't forget to like and subscribe this channel if you found this helpful for more great airway education online.